Hello and welcome back to another video on Kibble Space Program. So today guys we're going to show off a few of the new features within this 0.23 update. Ha ha ha. Okay so guys there are only two new parts that have been added to the game from what I've noticed. Um, those parts include this one right here. I'm going to move this down. This is called the Rapia engine. This is a game changer. Like no joke it's a game changer big time i mean this thing is I'll, I'll describe it to you or how it works so this thing has two modes air breathing mode and closed cycle mode so what does that mean air breathing mode means that this engine will use only liquid fuel and requires air intakes that are actually consuming in air the other mode the closed cycle mode means that this thing will consume liquid fuel and oxidizer so essentially this thing is part jet engine and rocket engine two in one that is awesome ssto's are going to be made like crazy i'm telling you this thing is a game changer big time i mean in in the past you would have had to like put in you know, a rocket and then maybe a turbo jet and then you know you have to decouple one like do staging so on and so forth now we have one obviously there's no staging in ssto by the way anyway um so yeah and here's the other part so this thing is for career mode i haven't looked into it for but from what i know it is um a mobile processing lab so essentially instead of having to transfer all the the science that you've collected from what i understand Instead of transferring the science to KSC so that it can be processed there, instead, given that you actually have this module on your ship, so let's say you go to, I don't know, EVE or something, right? You go to EVE and you're collecting data. This module here will be able to process that data and turn it into science data so that you can actually purchase new parts in the game. Of course, this is for career mode, not sandbox, because uh, in sandbox, unfortunately, you cannot like click this thing. Like, there's no GUI or anything like that. So there you go. But if you want to try it out, career mode it is. So there's that. And this is just yeah, not too much of a game changer, but still, it, it helps out when it comes to career mode. But this, oh, I'm back to this again. This is awesome, really cool feature. And guess what? My favorite guys, the small gear bays, now have steering. Yes, uh, deployable. Interesting. So you can actually, in flight, right? So right now, actually, I can, let's see, if, is there animation? Oh, there's animation. Well, there's no real animation, but it just happens. Awesome. So before we're actually launching this thing, you can actually tell it to retract or, or deploy. So that is cool. That's automation and a half. Huh. Disable brakes. Cool. Okay. So pretty much we can change a few settings now and just go to launch this thing and those settings would have been applied and of course steering guys steering this thing has steering now so you can turn left and right now without having to use the the wings and create a hazardous situation so that's just that's awesome my favorite part one of my favorite parts uh, this is my favorite part right here this damn engine right here this is pretty good um, so of course as you can see <laughs> I should explain this earlier on uh, I have built a design here it is, right? It's a, it's a basic design, but of course, it is a SSDO. Why? Because it can go to orbit. Yes. Uh, I haven't tested it, but I know it can do it. Uh, I did test a, another design, uh, pretty similar to this one, I'd say. And it was fully functional. Uh, before we go, let's go ahead and check out a few of the things. Yeah, that looks good. Um, and just because I didn't explain it, I'll explain it now. You can now right-click uh, certain wings and change the settings to activate deactivate um, the pitch your roll and I think there was one more no that's it pitch your and roll there it is so you can activate deactivate so once you inactivate this you can go launch it and this will remain inactivated so pretty cool that's that's a lot of automation right there uh, very nice and as you can see one more thing uh, the GUI here has been changed so everything is more descriptive and now we have the addition of max temperature so pretty much this thing's maximum temperature that it can handle is 306 uh, 3600 something degrees i think that's fahrenheit uh it should be fahrenheit but anyway so there we go 
Um, I'm actually gonna add uh, some solar panels to this thing. Uh, I, I learned the hard way. It seems as though <laughs> electricity is draining pretty damn fast as of recently on my rockets. I don't know, it's probably just me or anything like that. But yeah, I'm just adding these just in case because I ran out of electricity while flying a similar design to this and I couldn't control it. Uh, other than using, I was actually using the gimbal range to control it. So uh, until that, until the fuel ran out, then I couldn't use the gimbal range. So there's that. So let's launch this thing and see how it can go. So I'll be right back once we are high enough in altitude. Oh, ha, ha, ha. steering. Oh, how awesome. Yay. Now, before we go ahead and do anything else, uh, let me just show you something that I've just discovered. Uh huh. So, you can actually control the thrust level. So, you see something that says here, uh, thrust limiter. Currently, it's at 100, which means 100%. You can actually control the amount of thrust that is output. So, you click that, just left click, and you can control it like that. So, look at that. Look how useful that is. Obviously, that's a bit of manual work. I don't know if that's automated or not, but there we go. That's definitely useful. So, if I pretty much... so. If I throw up to 100%, the thrust will be 20.5. But it says 35.9. Hmm, hmm. Interesting. Ah, oh, no, it's 20.5% it's of the total thrust that this thing can achieve. That's what I'm assuming. Yeah, that's, that's probably what it is. It should be. It should be that. So I'm going to restart the flight, actually, because I just burnt a bit of fuel for no reason. Uh, but there we go. And guys, look at this. Look at the steering. Look at this. Awesome. <laughs> I'll be right back. And here we are, high enough in altitude at around about 2,000 meters per second. Let's check where we are on the map. As you can see here, that's um, this is the orbit or the maneuver that I have achieved so far using the the oxidizer. No, the other mode, the air breathing mode. And we are about to change to oxidizer mode, yes. That's the correct way of saying it. So let's go ahead and do that now. Yeah, and in fact, this thing doesn't really chew up too much um, too much fuel when it comes to the air air breathing mode, but the oxidizer mode, of course, does chew up quite a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the mode in three, two, one. There we go. The thrust level has increased to 164.5 kn. So let's go ahead and check that out. And right, what's that? Anyone? Okay, okay, okay. That's gonna decrease, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and do that again. And da -da. that was instantaneous actually. Are we no we're not time warping. Oh, interesting. Why why so much so why so quick? Uh alright, alright. It, it it's pretty fast when it comes to acceleration, that's for sure. Let's do it again. Dun, da -da -da -da. Almost there. Hey, just leave it there. Pretty good. Okay, because our goal here is to pretty much it's around about you know above seventy thousand meters, and then like do a burn progress to like perfectly circularize and create an orbit. Um, but of course, we are still in the atmosphere, so that is slowing us down, very bad, really bad. And this is all the oxidizer that we have, because pretty much once this oxidizer runs out, we can no longer use this closed cycle mode. Okay, but we will be able to use the other mode, the Air intake mode thing with Jiggy. So there we go. Uh, I think it's about time to time up. Let's hope we can make it safely. Let's check on our altitude. We are currently at 48,000 meters above the surface. And yeah, I think we're going to make it. Yeah, definitely. Mm hmm. And as usual, um, this is something I never told any of you guys. Uh, the not Not the previous update, the update before it. Um, every time I was recording, in fact, my game would crash. So, like, say I would, like, more specifically, when I would launch a rocket or a craft, my game would crash. Only when I'm using Fraps, of course. Um, the other software that I also use is called Mirrorless Action. Uh, it seems as though it doesn't crash with that, but it just stops, turns off the recording, which is weird. So there we go. We're pretty high up here when it comes to altitude. Huh. Pretty damn good, isn't it? Okay, let's go back down. Uh, we do have the solar panels that are charging 
this thing up so that we can use the inline reaction wheels that are built in by default if that's what this damn thing has and any moment there we go we have successfully created an orbit not a perfect orbit but it's an orbit isn't it let's go ahead and check how much we have left 105 oxidizer remaining pretty damn good and of course we do have a full fuel tank worth of liquid fuel and just this little bit here uh, very nice very nice indeed let's go ahead and do a, just do a longer burn come on dun, 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 dun. let's see how long this can go for all right well it does burn at a, a nice pace I think yeah all any rocket engine burns at a pretty fast rate so I guess it's expected so there we go where are we going uh, I think it stopped and yeah okay so we pretty much ran out so what i'm gonna do now is just uh we're doomed actually we're stuck here yeah we're, we're doomed guys oh well there we go <laughs> uh stuck in space uh we're gonna restart this anyway easy peasy don't worry this there's a kerbal in here isn't there is it yep <laughs> wait i don't i can't see him oh there he is it's so dark on the bottom right hand corner what the heck it's camouflaged in there yeah, because I've got my, my light pointing there, so I can't actually see the, the Kerbal. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, what's his name? I've got my recording software down there telling me the FPS. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed uh, just a short video showing the awesomeness of this engine. And I'll fast forward. a time off so you guys can see in the light. And there we go. So this engine is pretty damn cool. Uh, for those of you that are wondering, this is a little update, uh, the Sun Station. I made a, a, a video very recently about uh, a misfortunate scenario with my Sun Station, with our Sun Station. Uh, but don't worry, I fixed it. Uh, it turns out, as I, I commented in one of the comments, uh, apparently after a certain period of time, two docked parts were actually merged together. I don't know why this happens, but it's pretty damn weird I mean maybe it's because of uh, the engine being on but the engine was not on when I was using the Sun station so I guess it's another reason just things like the merge together uh, I, I guess I don't know but anyway after like as soon as I, I realized that was a problem before the explosion occurred I quickly time opt and um, when you do that and you, when you stop time opting uh, for some reason the game pretty much fixes everything up so like it, everything that was merged together gets you know put back into place which is pretty damn weird but but useful at the same time and here's another tip say you are like uh, you're moving you're moving your I don't know like this thing right we're moving so if I quickly time up so notice how it, it stayed in that position oh I've been using that that sort of feature in the game to move the Sun Station because it's so long and wobbly um, you know all the parts are moving like a snake and so every time I time up it stiffens up back again so that you know nothing smashes and it's pretty pretty damn tough but it's fun it's a good challenge but nevertheless enough of that boring talk hope all of you enjoyed I'm really enjoying this engine and the smoggy bays for this update that's pretty much it for me uh, maybe I'll use the the new career mode uh, part that has been implemented Maybe, I don't know. Um, but anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed and see you next time. Bye.